Good morning! I am right now at one of the least used stations in Amsterdam, Iswadwer. And today, finally, the day has arrived to do Secrets of the M50 Metro. Line 50 is a 20 and a half kilometer line with 20 stations. This makes it the longest line and the line with the most amount of stations. This line is actually the most used line of any line on the Amsterdam Metro network. And the line fully opened on 1st of June 1997. There is a lot to see here at Isolatoberg, but what is to see is a bird on the station name sign. Before we go, you might be wondering why this type of metro train always has their platform extenders released. Well, that's because of a fatal mistake that the Amsterdam Metro Committee made. They made sure that the stations were so designed that only the newer trains could fit in, which were narrower, but the older, wider trains could not fit in. That was a huge mistake because half of your fleet will not be able to use the stations. So they had to shave off a bit of every platform at every station so that every train could fit in. This means that this type of better train had to use their platform extenders at all times. Our next stop on the line is Sloterdijk station which is a huge interchange station between the metro, bus, tram and train. But if you exit towards the bus station and then turn left you can visit some old train carriages and the special and fun part about these train carriages is that you can actually rent a room in one of those carriages and sleep a night in them. Also not to forget, linking the bus stop and some entrances of the station, there is a rainbow bridge specially made to support the LGBTIQ plus community. Next up on the line, the Vluchtlaan. Why the Vluchtlaan? Because this was the site of an old railway station, which lied somewhere over there. But it got removed because, you know, as you can see, uh, they built a bridge to connect the airport with Zandam at the north of, north of the uh, country. But if you take a metro down south, you can still see the old platforms on the next to the train tracks. After that we went to see a very generic station that you can see on this line, Postjesweg. This is an excellent example of how every station on this line looks. Every station on this line, including, as I said, Postjesweg, has protected benches, a protected vending machine, a place to hang your ladder, and a canopy which looks really interesting. But here at Bosjesweg, there's one thing really different. What is this bench doing here? <laughs> I think it is at the wrong place. But on this line between Isolatenberg and Zuid, there are two stations that are completely different. Like you saw, Soterdijk and our next station, Lelina. Why I'm here is because in the 90s, when NS was building railway lines around the country, uh, they marked their bridges with the dates that it's been built. For example, here on this line, between the airport and Sodak station, you can find on every viaduct a marking on when the bridge is built. They are a bit hidden, but you can still find them. You can find other examples of these markings on the line around Belmer Arena. Zuid is like Soderdijk, very very crowded with lots of connection to the tram, metro, bus and train. But compared to Soderdijk, this station is really ugly. But the station is undergoing massive renovations to turn the station into a really nice building. And one of the things they had to do is remove the old railway lines of Line 51 that used to go to Amstelveen. But I didn't know that, that they removed it. On the day that I went to record, they're removing the secret. This is actually sad. Oh. Because if you look really recently on Google Street View, 
you can still see the old railway and uh, traffic lights and poles and though that sort of stuff of the old railway line but there's something else to see here at Sa if you exit towards the bus station and then immediately turn left you'll find this really nice open-air exhibition that you can visit for free about a man who's visited every single capital city and country in the world look at this and he took a picture and explain the situation. If you quickly want to make a world tour, this is the place. And it goes on. That in the corner is just Estonia with the E. It's all in automatic order. And it continues all the way down the street. So if you have like a 15 minute connection here at South, just exit the station and take a left when you exit towards the bus station. You will not regret it. After Zuid, we, we went to Rye to make a visit to the beautiful canopy and to watch some trains go by. This section between Rai and over Amstel is the longest between any stations on the network. I want to time it. And in total, it came out to 2 minutes and 44 seconds. Here at Over Amstel you can see the A10 ringway and a massive bus depot. I'm right now at the west side of the station. And there isn't a gate line here. You have to walk to the other side. To get to the gate line. I mean, I understand now. This does not feel <laughs> like I'm in Amsterdam. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Going, <laughs> going back to the station. <laughs> Too dangerous. I'm right now still on the west side. I wanted to address the name. Over Amstel is the same has the same meaning in Dutch as in English. Over the river Amstel. So you might think that this station, right here above all of this, this is a uh, metro station. That's what that would mean that this water here is the river Amstel, but it isn't. This, ladies and gentlemen, is actually. The Duivendrechtse Dreef. It will be not. No. This means that actually, if you want to take the name literally, this should be called Over Amstel, but Over Duivendrechtse Dreef. But that is a that appealing. Why is it called Over Amstel? It, it, the neighborhood is called Over Amstel. Why is that? I have no idea. After over Amstel, we came at our final stop van der Maanweg. This is the final stop van der Maanweg. And normally there's nothing here, like there's some industrial uh, buildings. But what is special is that it has a footbridge. Okay, go up the footbridge. Let's go up the footbridge. 
and you have from here an amazing view from the Amstel uh, the Amstel the Amstel high rise my god I cannot speak I really like it here Something you also did, may not know, and if you did not go up downstairs to the station, is this place right here. This is a place where they test all their new software for the metro. With a little graph, with a little graph at how much the metro has grown each year. And a little video about changing to the CBTC network of Alstom. I am now at the other uh, across the street from the entrance from metro station. Unfortunately, I have to end the video right here. Tomorrow, you'll see the secrets of line 51. Same time, same, not same day. It's only same time, but tomorrow. See you then.